Hey there, it's Rhoda, and today's video is all about being fierce in your communication with others. I'm actually going to share a very cool exercise that you can do right before you're about to have like a really big, important conversation. Now, this can be um, a variety of different things. It can be a very difficult conversation, like maybe breaking up with somebody or um, maybe having to set boundaries with somebody. Um, it can also be something like expressing that you love somebody for the first time. Um, it can be that you're about to give a big speech for the first time or you're about to go and do a very big meeting or interview. So there are a lot of different situations that you can use this exercise before. Um, and it can even just be that you really want to get better at fiercely communicating with people, okay? Now, what exactly is fierce communication? Well, to me, fierce communication is that ability to really express something truthfully and openly with force, but in a loving way. Okay, so it's not about being blunt or mean or hurting somebody's feelings or whatever. It's really about just showing up with all of yourself and really speaking your truth and at the same time, you know, um, understanding the other person and having the compassion for the other person. So before I share the exercise with you, I just want to speak briefly on why fierce communication is so important in this world. Now, I know it can be tough. It's tough for me too. I'm the kind of person at times I'm just uh, terrified of confrontation. I don't like confrontation. I don't want to potentially make somebody feel uncomfortable. And sometimes that stops me, you know, from saying things that are on my mind. And I just have to remind myself constantly to push past that fear, you know, because, and, and just trust that if I'm coming from an open and loving place, that my words will be heard, my expression will be heard, okay? Because seriously, every single one of us, our expressions are so unique and so valuable, and if we do not share them, then they will just not exist on this planet. There will never, ever, ever be another expression like yours on this planet. So it is really up to you to share your truth, to express your wisdom, to say what's on your mind, and to really impact people with your words, you know, and move people with your words and just come from that place of openness and honesty and love, of course. So this exercise is so powerful um, for doing that. Um, if you've seen any of my other chakra videos, you know that I've been sharing um, uh, Bija mantras for um, the chakras. And um, a Bija mantra is basically the seed sound um, for a particular chakra, and it's the sound that resonates most deeply with that chakra. And when we actually use that sound, we're really tapping into that chakra and waking it up, okay? So um, we're going to be working with the throat chakra, of course, because the throat chakra is all about expression and communication, okay? And the, the seed sound for the throat chakra is hum. It's H-A-M, and it sounds like this. Um. All right, so in just a second, um, we're going to do some of those together. And I just want you to keep in mind that as you are making this seed sound, hum, I want you to really focus and really tune in to that throat chakra, okay? Because you want to be really vibrating hard from this place, all right? So let's go ahead and start that, okay? So get comfortable, and whenever you're ready, you can follow me. Ha. Excellent, and you should already be feeling the energy in the throat opening up a little bit and clearing the pathways. 
um, so that you can really fully step into your expression and speak your truth. And I want to give you a little bonus exercise that's so easy to do. This one is actually a cool one because, you know, like the, the chanting of the seed sound, you can't really go out around town and do that, you know, because people are going to look at you funny if you're out in public doing that. So this one is a cool one to do because you can do it and nobody will even know that you're doing it. So before you're actually um, doing, you're, you're about to have your conversation, you can really just put both your hands around your throat, your throat chakra, just like this. And just breathe and just like imagine that you're sending energy there. And you're really just tuning into the energy here and really just sort of nourishing it and giving it permission to open up and to support you and guide you. And really it, it takes 30 seconds, you know, you can just do that right before you're supposed to speak. And you can close your eyes if you want to, just tune in. It's so simple, and I already feel it already, like kind of vibrating. So um, yeah, those are two really cool things you can do before you're about to have your fierce conversation and engage in your fierce communication. I really hope you try it. And as always, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below this video and let me know if you have any tips here to add, any exercises, um, any techniques to share, anything for being able to get through a really big, important conversation. Um, I would love to hear from you. And also, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you better get on it right now. It's at rodajordan.com. And um, every other week I post a video here, but then um, on my blog, I actually post a new blog post, and you will get that if you are subscribed to my newsletter. Um, and of course, also subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Thank you so much for being here. I love having your energy here watching. Um, I value your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I will see you the week after next. Bye.